There are many things people do to increase their gym performance. They take different kinds of supplements and pre-workouts that increase their alertness and energy. But one of the most effective ways to immediately boost your performance has nothing to do with supplements. You can achieve that by just cooling down your body. In this video, I'm going to talk about the different methods of pre-cooling that you can use to instantly increase your gym performance. It's showtime. One of the limiting factors to physical performance is your rising body temperature. Muscle fatigue may in part be due to the rise in temperature of the muscle itself. Cooling down the particular muscle group that's being exercised has been seen to increase endurance and power in the muscle. Basically, when you're exercising, your body temperature starts to increase. After a certain threshold, when your body is too hot, you start to actually experience fatigue and your performance declines. So one of the ways to extend your performance and increase it is to delay the onset of this heat. Humans dissipate heat through sweating, but there are non-hairy glabrous skin regions that regulate your core temperature the most. These regions are the palms of the hands, bottoms of the feet, the face, the forehead, and the ears. These parts of the body heat up the most, and you can cool down the entire body by cooling down these regions first. As core temperature rises, blood flow shifts to the skin and reduces blood flow to the muscles. In one study, one hand palm cooling has been seen to improve aerobic exercise endurance in a hot environment. The palm cooling device also increased the duration of walking by 13.8 minutes. In another study, palm cooling for 3 minutes in between bench press sets increased work volume by 40%. When used over 6 weeks during pull-up training, palm cooling increased work volume by 144% in pull-up experienced subjects and by 80% in pull-up naive subjects. In another study, they took 12 subjects who engaged in 6 sprints at 5 minute work to rest cycles on a treadmill set to 110% of their VO2 max. Palm cooling allowed those sprinting at 71 degrees Fahrenheit to sprint 1 minute longer and those sprinting at 95 degrees Fahrenheit to sprint around 30 seconds longer. So as you can see, there's actually quite a lot of literature about the benefits of cooling down your body during exercise. It's going to increase your endurance, your strength, your power and your total work volume. And the benefits can actually be immediate. You can instantly do this on your next workout and see those benefits. As a short recap, here are the benefits of cooling down your body during exercise. It reduces the rise in core body temperature that inhibits performance. It reduces the rise in heart rate, which also is going to inhibit your performance. It reduces the perception of fatigue, which enables you to exercise longer. It increases sprint distance in both hot and cool environments. It increases strength and work volume. Here's how you can cool down the body during exercise to gain those benefits. You can use water or ice packs on the forehead, and you can do the same with the palms of your hands. Now let's talk about another way to cool down your body during exercise and postpone the increase in your body temperature that happens during exercise. It involves prehydrating with salt. Prehydrating with salt is able to increase your performance by 10 to 20 times more than any other supplement. By boosting your blood volume prior to exercise, which is most effectively done with salt and water, provides the body with a larger amount of circulating fluid to offload heat and cool down the body. Boosting blood volume also slows down the rise in core temperature. There have been several studies that have tested at preloading with salt solutions prior to exercise to boost blood volume. In 13 trained female cyclists, they cycled at 70% of their VO2 max at 32 degrees Celsius until exhaustion. The first group took a high salt solution of 2,368 milligrams of sodium. The second group took a low salt solution with only 144 milligrams of sodium. On average, those drinking the high salt solution were able to cycle 20.1 minutes longer. The best pre-workout supplements out there such as beta alanine or beetroot juice only increase exercise duration by one to two minutes. So consuming the high salt solution can increase your performance by 10 to 20 times more than any other pre-workout supplement. Similar benefits were found in eight trained male runners running to exhaustion at 70% of their VO2 max in 32 degrees Celsius. On average, those drinking the high salt solution were able to run 20.8 minutes longer. Here's the best salt hydration formula for boosting your performance based on Dr. James DeNicol Antonio's hydration formula from the book Win. One hour before training, you want to preload with salt, water, and glycine. Consume 2300 to 4300 milligrams of sodium plus 4 to 8 
grams of glycine in 22 to 33 ounces of fluid respectively. Now that is a very large amount of sodium and you don't need to take it if you're just going for a short jog or if you're going for a 30 minute exercise session or if you're just going for a walk obviously. This formula is for scenarios where you exercise for longer than 60 minutes in either high temperatures and high heat or you're doing very intense exercise because your body loses up to 2500 milligrams of sodium per one hour of sweating whether that be in the sauna or when you're exercising. So consuming around 2300 milligrams of sodium before exercise is what your body is going to lose anyway in the sweat. If you want to learn more about performance secrets and optimizing your physical exercise then check out my book with Dr. James DeNicola Antonio called Win. Other than that thanks for watching this video make sure you click a like subscribe notification bell as well my name is Seem. Stay optimized stay empowered.